his skin was completely bald, so he had to wear t-shirts. Libre versus the shirt. He had these like little doggy goggles he had to wear. I eventually called him my bug-eyed little alien child. You know, the night that I went to meet him at the ER vet, he literally couldn't even lift his head up. I've never, ever seen something so close to death. I remember all I wanted to do was hold him and kiss him and love on him. The vet, she said he's limp, he's cold, he's in and out of consciousness. The best thing for this dog is euthanasia. Something inside of me just said, you know, he, I mean, he deserves a chance. Before I left, I said, you know, if you if you push through, I promise you, you'll have a home with me. I visited him every single day at the vet, and I never ever thought about giving up on him until I remember day five. Day five's when me and Dr. Pryor actually had that talk about, you know, are we doing what's best interest for Libre? And he said, you know, give him 24 hours and see what happens. There you go. And literally 12 hours later, he was up on his own and eating. After day five, it was like everything changed. He just kept improving and getting better and better and better. He's definitely a fighter, aren't you? He had so many people, not even across the country, across the world. I mean, he was a very, very spoiled puppy. Come here. Bring it here, you're so smart. I remember sitting outside of the vet's office and I didn't have a toy, so I threw my flip-flop and he chased it and he picked it up and brought it back to me and I called it flip-flop vet. Whenever people saw that on Facebook, I had probably hundreds of flip-flops sent to him. I mean, hundreds. Yeah. Oh my God. I've cried over this dog more than any dog that I ever have. <laughs> He's my boy. Good job. Oh my God, it's so smart. The first friend he ever made here at the rescue was a 2,000 pound cow named Meatball. He loves Meatball, loves that cow. He would go home with any stranger he ever met, and it's like, Libra, you can't be doing that stuff. I was at the Capitol, and it passed unanimously. I started crying. It's like, dude, you have a law named after you. Like, he made history, and how cool is that? Go get him. He's always had a personality. He's definitely the class clown. He's just always into stuff. He's a ham, can you tell? He really works the camera. <laughs> he taught me there is no such thing as a lost cause. He shouldn't have lived, and he did. Everybody says they'd always like to witness a miracle once in their lifetime, and at the age of 33, I have, so that's, that's pretty damn cool.